This week we are revisiting some of the places hit hardest by historic flooding earlier this year and the people whose lives were changed forever. Michael Aaron is here to show us how people in Pendleton are moving forward. Hey, Michael. Hey, Laura. Pendleton is a small Deshea County community of just a couple hundred people. Almost all of their homes flooded as the river crested back in June, and one community member tells us recovery has been a slow and steady process. The last time we visited Triple P Restaurant in Pendleton, traveling by car wasn't an option. There's just a devastation that is just can't be explained. That's owner Peggy Hill in May of this year. We still have people come down and how high did the water get? And here she is today. How high did it not get? It was wild. These photos prominently displayed inside Triple P. This is what a hundred year flood looks like. Help tell the story of what she and her neighbors endured. You go, wow, this was here, you know. Here today, gone tomorrow. It's just overwhelming. As the Arkansas River reached historic heights this spring, it not only flooded Hill's restaurant. I got eight inches in here. But also her home. We just got in ours a couple, you know, three weeks ago. In the homes of many others here. Though things are slowly starting to return back to normal for this small community, Peggy says there's still lots of work to be done. There's families that are still reconstructing and, you know, there's still families in campers where they're working on their houses and stuff. Which is why Peggy considers herself lucky. Swept, mop, swept, mop. A little over a month we were down. Triple P reopened just a few weeks after the water receded. And as Peggy returned to the job she loves, she did so with new perspective. This experience can humble someone to have to look at what you've got and what it took away. Uh, it, it'll open your eyes and and make you really think you're blessed and you really just don't see it until you have to. Maybe you're not all the way back and better yet, but do you think you will be better than before whenever this is all said and done? I hope. I'm not going to say yes and I'm not going to say no. I'm optimistic. I won't give up. And she won't forget the flood that changed her community forever. It's been a teaching experience, a learning experience, and hope nobody ever has to go through it again. Wow. So, of course, yeah, the first time I met her back in June, I was just struck by how positive she was. Yeah, and, despite uh, everything. Yeah. And this Thanksgiving, she, mm -hmm. that new perspective. She says she'll sit down at the table. She'll be thankful for the table she sits at. She'll be mm -hmm. thankful more for the people, her family next next yeah. to her. And she just encourages others to kind of have that uh, same idea as yeah, they head into Thanksgiving. because it's her neighbors, too, that yeah. are still struggling with the cleanup. Yeah, and they're trying to, you know, now get their homes to FEMA regulations. And there's a lot of work that's still going on, even though mm -hmm. they may be back in their houses and it'll take some time. Yeah, well, thank you for updating us on the progress, Rob.